forward here, then I can go and I can see all these identity deminar. So I click on my deminar identity and I have no warnings. So I, it shows me all of the different files that have all the different modules. So you can see like click and it's dangerous, net ifaces, numpy, pip recs, requests, six. These are all the different things that are run on this TensorFlow. So I cl click on TensorFlow and one of the things, I didn't get a, a red alert about it, but one of the things it says is this is an out of date version because TensorFlow updates it like every week. And so 1.9 is out. So the latest, it's telling me the latest is 1.9. There's no security problems with this one, TensorFlow 1.8, but it's giving me a heads up that, hey, this is out of date. Notice it also gives me information about the license. It says this is an Apache license 2.0. So if your organization, you uh, were perhaps interest, interested in you know, you don't want any GPL uh, code, then you could, uh, you know, be able to monitor and see the licenses. And like I said, with the uh, policies module that's evolving, you would eventually be able to filter that stuff out. So you can see also that here's an, another report that shows me, here are all the identities using this component. So if there wasn't a warning with this, then I'd be able to see how widespread is this warning inside my organization. And in this case, there's only the one that's using TensorFlow. So if I go back here to different identities, you can see that if we had an error, however, right? So earlier I created a thing called bad app. We have something that has one high severity. So we have no active session with this, but bad app here has a warning. And you can see that it would give us this you know high severity warning here for bleach 211 which is not only it, you can see it's also out of date this little x here signifies that it's out of date but there's also a cve against that and it has a little explanation about that cve it's an issue to discover before 2.13 right so it's obviously recommending that i update to 2.13 here so we've got out of date errors but i've also got a high severity cve so you can imagine uh, that if I had a very large application or a large organization, this gives me a dashboard, a one-stop shop to see, hey, where are all of the errors that we have? You know, I can click on warnings here and component warnings across any of, uh, of the things in my organization will show up here that I have. Here's my high severity bleach one and it's running on bad app. And moving forward, as I continue to develop, I don't have to do anything. I've already configured it, set it up, it's just going to keep working and keep keep checking things for me. And then whoever's monitoring the dashboard here is going to be able to see these errors and see these components and see these uh, alerts and then be able to take action based on that. 